Going live. Going live. Hey, hope you're connecting. Going live today. <clears throat> hope some folks will join me. And it's good to be here with you. I wanted to look up one fact. Okay. Hope some folks will join me. It still says that I'm not really connected, but I hope I am. Missed a couple of weeks. Yay, there's the names popping up. Yay, guys, glad you're here. Glad you're here. I'm um, good to be with you. Thanks for connecting. It usually shows me people are watching, and it's not today, so that's all right. Okay. Anyway, thanks for connecting. Live devotional time. And glad you're here. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Nancy and April and Betsy and Ed. Good to be with you all today, and glad we could be together. And I am... Uh, go ahead and get started. Let's see announcements. Um, one thing is on Tuesday nights, our church is doing a thank you dinner to all those disaster volunteers who are staying at our church every week. And if you are willing and able and interested in being on a list of potential names that would be willing to help provide a meal, either part of the meal or all of the meal. The groups vary in size from four to five people to 20 people, and um, we would love to have some extra names on the list, and so send me a message, but we, if you if you get my weekly emails, there'll be a sign up there, and also there'll be, uh, there's a sign up in our entryway. And it's a good chance to just meet volunteers and say thank you. And golly, we've got people from all over the country that are choosing to give of their time and come to Hopkins County, which is such a wonderful thing. And um, yeah, so please do. And um, worship at 8, 30, 11, Sunday school at 9, 45. Uh, lots of stuff coming for the youth and they're going to be selling strawberries which is a cool chocolate covered strawberries just in time for Mother's Day as a fundraiser and they're going to be $25 a dozen which we know is not cheap but we're not going for cheap we're trying to be a fundraiser so um, if you can support the kids with a $25 gift and get some chocolate covered strawberries that would be great more information is coming out about that and we've got logos tonight with dinner back we haven't had dinner because of covid and um we are bringing that back tonight it's pizza night for the kids so should be a fun night um lots lots of wonderful things happening in the life of our church and it's good to be with you now so let's go ahead and get started with the scripture that i wanted to talk about today and um, that is, I hope everybody's still there. It's strange. Usually it gives me, Facebook's always changing the way they do things, aren't they? Um, so I wanted to read this scripture, and I think this is funny. This passage amuses me because um, it's from Thessalonians, which happens to have the fun historical fact of being the oldest Christian writing that we have. It um, predates the Gospels. It's uh, the oldest Christian writing we have. And um, it's a neat letter full of lots of advice and wisdom. And um, the funny thing about it, in chapter 4, after giving lots of advice about how to be a Christian community and what it means to be a Christian community, um, he says, um, Now concerning, oh, this is in chapter 4, Thessalonians, beginning in verse 9. Now concerning love of the brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anyone write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. And indeed, you do love all the brothers and sisters throughout Macedonia, but we urge you, beloved, to do so more and more, to aspire to live quietly, 
to mind your own affairs and to work with your hands as we directed you so that you may behave properly towards outsiders and be dependent upon no one. So, first of all, this amuses me because it's sort of, he really, Paul really sounds like a parent here, doesn't he? Like, you already know what you need to do. You don't need anyone to tell, or a teacher. Doesn't he sound like a teacher? You already know that you're supposed to love one another. Um, you don't need anyone to write it down in a letter and say, love one another. You already know to do this. I love this. Um, but then he says, you know, you're doing pretty good, but you know what you need to do is just learn to love more and more. Um, and indeed, you do love all brothers and sisters throughout Macedonia, but we urge you, beloved, to do so more and more, to aspire, to live quietly, to mind your own affairs, and to work with your hands as we directed you so that you may behave properly towards outsiders and do not depend upon anyone. It's funny, mind your own affairs, work with your hands, so certainly trying to speak to the self-sufficiency of the Christian community that he's hoping that they're going to have. But I love the fact that he pretty much says, you already know what you're supposed to be doing. You know what you need to do here. And um, I think that's part of the challenge. Here it is after the Easter celebration of Easter Sunday. And now we get to all think about what it means to live as an Easter people. What that, what what it makes a difference in our lives, how we're called to be and to spend our time and our, use our gifts and our dollars and our and um, our energy and what it means to live as his Easter people. And here is this wisdom from Paul saying, you already know what you need to do. I don't need to put it in a letter. I don't need to tell you. You already know. And I found a prayer that... Um, I've shared before and I shared it on my social media page and I thought I'd share it today as well because I think it's a beautiful prayer and I don't even know who the author is I don't have it actually I think I might know the author now that I look at this image it might be from um, the author Re uh, Rebecca from Thistle Farms I'm sorry I'm blanking her name I might have shared it from her book when we read her book but here's the prayer it says, God, keep my anger from becoming meanness. Keep my sorrow from collapsing into self-pity. Keep my heart soft enough to keep breaking. Keep my anger turned towards justice, not cruelty. And remind me that all of this, every bit of it, is for love. Keep me fiercely kind. Amen. I thought it was a beautiful prayer. It's on my, on my social media page, Facebook page, if you would like a copy of it. So, um, yeah, church, you already know what you need to do. And we are his Easter people. And I pray for your wisdom and awareness this day of how God is calling you to live in your life this very day, this precious day you've been given. Let's get ready to pray. Um, if you have a prayer concern and want to comment it, I would love for you to share if you feel like sharing. Uh, good morning, Janie and Wayne and Donna. Glad you all are with us. So does anyone have a prayer concern they'd like to share today? Fres oh, Fresca. <laughs> I learned, here's a Holy Week learn learning. I learned I like Fresca. Um, anyone have a prayer concern? <laughs> I entertain myself. Anyone have a prayer concern they'd like to share today? No one has a prayer concern. I know you do. But you might not want to share it over the internet, and I totally understand that. So um, I'm happy to pray for us all. Vanderbilt on the 25th. I have that on my calendar, Donna. Praying for your next steps as you talk to um, doctors and treatment and everything. Thank you for sharing that. And... Um, Dad, bro, I still remember your mom. I hope she's doing okay and all those who love her. Um, anyone have a prayer concern? Ed, let's remember all your friends at, at CEPOD and all the challenging work in Nicaragua that they do. Hey, Jennifer, yay. Can you pray for Dad? 
so grateful for the steps forward he's taken. But you're right. He, he's been a very sick man. Thank you, Jennifer. We continue to pray for Tom. Um, pray for him. Grateful, grateful, though, that he's had some, some good days where things have moved the right direction. Anyone else have a prayer concern? Thank you for sharing all these, everybody. I would just like to share a joy of just a wonderful Easter Sunday, a beautiful Easter Sunday. All those baptisms, all that profession of faith, it just filled my heart with joy to be a witness. And I hope it did for you, too. And, um, and I also want to mention a joy to have all these volunteers that the church is allowing these folks in our building. They're from all over the country, all kinds of churches, and even no churches. Uh, it's mostly churches, but there's been there's some that are just uh, civic groups that are coming. And what a blessing it is. What a blessing it's been. So all these people serve in Hopkins County, people we don't even know. It's, it's a great thing. Hey, Tom! <laughs> We're praying for you. I'm so glad he's watching, too. And, and thanks, Wayne. We'll remember Donna. And, um, well, let's go get, let's go pray. And uh, wherever you are, be it a hospital bed, out in your car, on a break, um, on a walk, wherever you're up to right now, let's just pause together and be the church and pray. Gracious and loving God, we're mindful of prayer concerns on our hearts this day. Those we've named out loud and those we share privately to you now. We pray for Donna in these next steps. Surround her with your love and care and help her to give your, have her peace as she steps into this unknown next step in her journey. Pray for Tom and his continued healing. We thank you, God, for things moving in the right direction, but we pray for his continued strength and healing. We pray for Deborah's sweet mom and all who love her for the good people of Sepad and Nicaragua and all the challenges that they face of doing ministry. And we pray, God, um, for those who continue to grieve the loss of someone they love. And we thank you, God, for the gift of new disciples in our midst and for the disaster volunteers who remind us every day, every week, how important it is sometimes to show up and to serve. And to say, here I am, Lord. You know, God, we know what we are to do. We know who we are to be. Give us strength to do it. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Pray for your friend in the stay pod. Thank you, Ed. We will. Um, thanks, everybody, for connecting. Tom, you could, glad you could watch, too. And um, I hope it's a beautiful day. It's getting warmer, finally. And I look forward to worshiping with you online or in real life. Don't hesitate to message me if you want some more information about church and happenings or want to get on our weekly emails. And I hope everybody has a great, wonderful week. Take care, everybody. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks, April. Okay, have a great week, everybody. Bye.